Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is Potential Long Time Treatment for Asthma. This is an interesting finding made by a team of researchers from the School of Biosciences at Austin University. We all know that asthma is a heterogenic disease that currently affects 300 million people worldwide. Asthma causes the airway to become thickened and constricted, resulting in symptoms such as wheezing and shortness of breath. The current treatments which includes steroids, which provide short-term relief from these symptoms by either relaxing the airways or reducing inflammation. However, there is no current drugs addresses the structural changes asthma make to the airway and lungs in order to offer a long-lasting treatment. Here, a group of researchers from Austin University, they are targeting the changes in the airway directly by offer a more permanent and effective treatment than those already available, particularly for severe asthmatics who don't respond to steroids. So, uh, this uh, allergic asthma, which is uh, nothing like immune-derived chronic lung diseases manifested by the recurrent episode of airway inflammation composed of uh, eosinophils, mast cells, macrophages, neutrophils, and lymphocytes. Airway remodeling is thought to fa be facilitated by these chronic inflammatory processes. The structural changes associated with the airway remodeling comprise goblet cell hyperplasia, collagen deposition, and increased airway smooth muscle mass, all of which contribute to the clinical manifestation of the lung disinfection. So these researchers mainly focus on type of stem cell known as pericytes which is mainly found in the lining of blood vessels. When asthmatics have an allergic and inflammatory reaction, for example, to the house dust, this causes the pericyte to move to the airway walls. Once there, the pericyte develops into muscle cells and other cells that make the airway thicker and less flexible. So, this movement of pericyte is triggered by a protein known as CXCL12. This research uh, uses used a molecule called LIT927 to block the signaling from the, this particular protein CXCL12 by introducing it into the mice nasal pa passages. So, asthmatic mice that were treated with the LIT927 had a reduction in symptoms within one week and their symptoms virtually disappeared within two weeks. So, uh, these, uh, these researchers also found that the airway walls in mice treated with LIT927 were much thinner than those in untreated mice that is close to those of healthy control okay so we hope that uh, this preliminary finding may leads to a breakthrough in treatment of asthma thank you